Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss about aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. So the aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction is the displacement of a nucleophile by another nucleophile. The nucleophile furnishes an electron pair to the carbon atom from where the leaving group departs with, with the bond pair electrons. There are three types of nucleophilic substitution reactions. Unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction, second one is a bimolecular nucleophilic substitution and uh, third one is a internal nucleophilic substitution reaction. Let us discuss about SN1. The SN1 reaction is in a nucleophilic substitution reaction where the rate determining step is unimolecular. The rate of reaction is dependent on one of the reactants that is called alkyl halide. So, the order of the reaction is 1. The product formed through this mechanism is followed by a carbocation intermediate. So, this reaction is in a two step mechanism. Let us take the example the hydrolysis of tertiary bromide. The carbon bromine bond is in a polar covalent. The cleavage of this bond allows the removal of leaving group. When the bromide end leaves the tertiary butyl bromide, a carbocation intermediate is formed, and it is the breaking of this bond is an endothermic. So the first step reaction is in a reversible and slow one, so it is a rate determining step. So this is a pictorial representation. You see here, this is in a bromine and it takes the electron uh, from the alkyl halide and it forms a, a tertiary carbocation. Actually this tertiary carbocation is in a, is in a planar shape. So it is in a trigonal planar shape. So this step will be very slow and uh, reversible here after formation of the carbocation this carbocation is attacked by the nucleophile. So the OH so usually we take a uh, alkali so the OH minus nucleophile attacks the carbocation in the both side of the planar carbocation. So usually the carbocation is I already told you this is a trigonal planar and sp2 hybridized and it uh, approaches the 2p orbital of the carbocation on the both side and uh, it forms a racemic product. You see the OH is approached in the one side and another one is in approaches in the opposite side. In case of SN1, a solvent that to facilitate the formation of carbocation intermediate will speed up the rate of reaction. Generally, the polar solvent and protic solvent will uh, facilitate the SN1 reactions because it uh, stabilizes the ionic intermediate. And uh, suppose, for uh, example, water and alcohol is the best solvent for a SN1 reaction. The effect of substrate usually um, it should produce a more stable carbocation. So, the allylic and benzylic, which have the uh, resonance stabilization will undergo very faster uh, uh, forms the stable carbocation and faster the SN1 reaction. In case of alkyl halide, if it is a tertiary, will be a more stable carbocation, will be more stable. So the order will be a benzyl halide and tertiary, then second the primary and at last will be a methyl group. So let, let us discuss about the SN2 mechanism now. So this is an uh, only a second order context so then, and uh, bimolecular and if let us take the example of hydrolysis of methyl bromide with the any OH and here the rate of reaction is depends upon the both alkyl halide as well as OH because it follows in a single step so it, it has no intermediate actually what happened here in the collision of the nucleophile the OH minus to the just opposite to the where the leaving group of B are. Uh, here the new bond the COH is formed and CBR bond start breaking simultaneously 
so that leads to uh, just approach of the OH minus just uh, 180 degree opposite back side attack. So this shows that uh, SN2 mechanism and this will be proceeds through a transition state and the transition state uh, will be partially negative charge on the um, hydroxide ion and uh, it is transferred to bromine via the carbon atom. You see this is the pictorial representation of SN2 mechanism. The OH minus is approaches and where the BR uh, 180 degree opposite to the BR and it follows a transition state and forms an inverted product. This is a very important and the SN2 mechanism, the effect of substrate and here the, the backside attack is the main important uh, key factor here. So if the bulkiness increases and which hinder the backside attack, so that is the reason if bulkier increases the rate of reaction will be decreases. The rate of reactivity is expected to be the methyl will be higher on primary, secondary and tertiary. And let's discuss about SNI mechanism and this is an internal nucleophilic substitution mechanism and it follows a second order kinetics with no change in uh, configuration. The best example is an uh, esterification of the chiral alcohol with the thionyl chloride with the retention in configuration. And uh, here the rate of reaction is directly proposed to both uh, thionyl chloride as well as an uh, alcohol. So this is a pictorial representation. You see here the alcohol that is thionyl chloride approaches the alcohol with the release of HCl and forms an intermediate and that intermediate immediately the Cl minus of that uh, intermediate approaches the uh, alkyl group and uh, SO2 leaves. So this is an uh, SNI and alkyl halide forms. That's all about SNI. Thank you uh, very much.